Hear me? Everybody in? Yep. You hear all right? Okay. I'm, I got some people in the wait, mid, waiting room. I'll let them in a minute, but I figured out the staff in first. So, mm -hmm. um, yeah, when I do the intros, I'm probably going to call on you to, to interest, introduce yourself because, as you know, with Zoom, a lot of people can't see yeah. who's, unless they're talking. So, uh, so you know, it'll just be, you know, who we are and what your position is, but uh, we'll do that right at the beginning. So that's the reason for that because some people have it on where just you can only see the speaker or you can just see a small group of people so you got about four people in there so yeah tom you got to set up the screen sharing ah uh, yes thank you steven did we want to record it is it is recording okay uh so we're doing multiple participants can use do you want to try that out before yeah yeah, just to make sure. All right. Sarah. Hi, Hi Sarah. Mm -hmm. You're muted. What's up? What's up? I, I said I've let everybody uh, staff in first, and then I'm going to let everybody else in. Um, I'm going to, at the beginning, have everybody introduce themselves because that, that's the only way you can. Uh, a lot of times, people can only see the one person that's speaking. So if I introduce all of you, they may not be able to find you on the screen. So uh, I'll, I'll probably call your name out or something, but then you just say who you are and what your position is. So pretty simple. Yeah, that's so working all right, huh? If anyone comes in and I'm talking, I'm gonna have to help them. Yeah, just mute okay. yourself and uh, yeah, mm -hmm. okay. Um, I, um, do you want me to just leave this up now? No. No? Uh, I'd like to see who's there first. Okay, so, let me get um, out of here. Then. Well. Yeah, let's let's get everybody in there, and then you can take it over there. I, I, it always drives me nuts when you you can only see like the three or four people on the side. But okay, that's just me. All right, I'm gonna start letting people in though. Here, got a few people in here. So. Good morning. Morning, everyone. Got people coming in. Good morning, Tom. Steve. Good morning. Hey, How's Mike. It going? I'm Mike. Hi, Mike. Uh, hello. This is your annual kickoff, eh? <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. A little different than last year, but I was just gonna say <laughs> what what isn't uh, different from last year. So last year we had cookies and brownies. That yes, yeah, amazing. Yeah. I think I was my inaugural one was probably the best one ever, just from snacks alone. <laughs> You're probably right. Probably right. Yeah, snacks. Yeah, we don't have snacks here at all. I got a little coffee, but that's about it. And I, I don't think I can share it with you very easily. So. Uh, science hasn't gotten us that far yet, but I'm sure someday. Probably. I don't even have coffee yet. I had to go out and shovel. We had a mini blizzard here <laughs> this morning. Yeah. yeah, here too. Yeah. yeah. Crazy. I think it's that's about it for, for, for a while, they said. So hopefully. So that's but, enough. Right. Yeah. It's kind of a, and we haven't had too much taste of, of uh, winter this year. So, um, I'm fine if we don't have any more of that. That's okay. Yeah, that's fine with me. <laughs> fine with me. We've been very lucky. We have. Yeah, has it really been that cold? Has it really been like that crazy windy? Not much snow. I mean, kind of waiting for it to kick in. Yeah. And it hasn't. Yeah. So now you get to a certain point in the year. I think by the end of January, you're like, hey, I can see the end from here. Like, no. it's fine if it never shows up at all. <laughs> then well, it shows not... up in April, and we yeah. don't want it. Yeah, right. Right. I think it was two years ago. I think we had nearly a blizzard like in March, like beginning yeah. of the middle of March. Yeah. And I was mm. like, are you kidding me? I, I thought we were this close to being done with this. <laughs> yeah. In my old days as an ad salesman, I, I learned lessons from uh, uh, either the snowplow salespeople or the uh, uh, snow tire salespeople. If you don't get a good snow in December, 
you don't sell those things. If you get even this far along, I think if you, without a heavy snow, the, the sales don't, people figure they can make it through when they get this far. They don't go out and buy the snow tires and the, and the snow blowers in, in January, February. So, oh, you know. absolutely. Well, I mean, at value, I mean, we, we would prime up for the whole year, right? The beginning of the year. And if you had a mild, like you said, November, December, and even part of uh, January, forget it. They're like, yeah. hey, I use, I use, you know, a broom or like, I'm not $12 at this point. Exactly right. You know? <laughs> They, then they wait for the spring sales when you <laughs> exactly yeah they're saving them for that and then you got everybody you know is paying off Christmas and that, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, yeah yeah so all the uh, yeah yeah you're right people like value and uh, uh, snow tire people and everybody all weather driven it, it's it's really funny yeah, it's all kind of weather driven that we can do that yeah yeah um, okay I think we're gonna get started we probably still have some people coming in. Uh, but uh, I, I'm going to start. Welcome. If you, those of you who don't know me, I'm Tom Turnbull. I'm president of the Ch Genesee County Chamber of Commerce. Welcome to Chamber 101. This is, this, as we've been talking here, the, the second year we did it. Last year it was live and in person, like a lot of things last year. Uh, but it, this is a nice thing for new chamber members, for potential chamber members, and even for members that have been here, um, members for a while. Just a, a reminder of all the different benefits there is to being a member of the uh, Genesee County Chamber of Commerce. Uh, I'm going to go first. I'm going to introduce uh, my staff, the, our staff here, and have them introduce. And then we're going to go around the room and have everybody introduce themselves so we can know who's here. It's a, this is what we usually do when we're yeah. live and in person. It's a little bit more of a challenge here, but I think we can do it. So uh, I'd like to start with, uh, well, I guess I, I'm looking at my screen. So Stephen Politico. Is right next to me, Stephen. Uh, like Tom said, I'm Stephen Felitico, uh, membership development director here. Uh, Kelly Rapone. Good morning. I'm Kelly Rapone. I'm the tourism marketing director. I work in the lower level of the chamber at the visitor center. And Kelly Birmingham. Yep, Kelly Birmingham, director of uh, member services and special events. And Sarah Stockwell. Hi. I'm Sarah Stockwell. I'm the accounting and HR director at the chamber. Yeah, and, and the reason I let, had everybody introduce themselves because I know some of you are in, in a mode where you only see the speaker or maybe one or two people. So uh, especially when we start getting in a presentation here, uh, you'll only be able to see a couple people. So uh, I want to do that first. But I do want to go around the room and have everybody introduce themselves. And I'm just going to take it from my screen and unmute yourself when I call your name. And I hope your name is the same one that, <laughs> that's on the screen. So we'll start with Sharon Burns. I am Sharon Burns. I am with Genesee County, or Genesee County, um, Genesee Community College in the Best Center. Oh, we say you work with John McGowan then, right? Yes, I do. <laughs> All right, good. Yeah, Dr. John. Dr. Right. John. Okay. Welcome. Bonnie yes. Heck. Hi, I'm Bonnie Hack. I own Herbalty Cottage in Medina. Oh, great, great. New member, yeah, yeah. welcome. Yeah. New member. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Marion Poutler, did I, get, did I get that right? That's Poutler, but yeah, I'm Marion Poutler. I bought the spa Artemis in Batavia back in um, June, the end of June. Um, I do have a new baby at home and I'm still like yeah. on leave. Um, so I'm gonna mute myself and just follow along just in case I don't want her to interrupt. <laughs> Okay, that's probably going to be a good idea for everybody, including our staff, when whoever's not speaking, to, to mute yourself when we get going. But uh, uh, over on the left, I, I don't think this is your name, but it says iPhone. <laughs> so who's, who's got the iPhone over here? I do. I'm Tracy Jones. Hi, Tracy. The, hi, I'm from the Arc of Genesee, Orleans Community Relations Department. All right. Well, welcome. Welcome. Thank you. Uh, right next on my screen is Lynn Westcott. Hey, good morning, everyone. Uh, Lynn Westcott, Director of, De uh, excuse me, Director of Development and Corporate Relations at the Alzheimer's Association, Western New York Chapter. Okay, welcome, welcome. And Tracy Ogello. Hi, all. I am Tracy Ogello. I'm the Chief Administrative Officer at the Arc of Genesee Orleans. Welcome. Thanks. And I've got a screen, a blank screen with Cindy on it. Cindy? <laughs> okay, well, let's move on. Uh, Cindy's kind of quiet today. So um, <laughs> Lauren Beck, I, I've got he, Lauren Beck's screen. He had a chat, Tom. Did you see the chat she broke? 
Oh, um, no, I did not. What yeah. Say? Says she's with Howard Hanna Real Estate. Her desktop doesn't have a camera or a microphone. Oh, okay, right. Cindy. That explains a lot. Well, welcome anyways from Howard Hanna. Okay, thanks. Uh, Lauren Beck? No, that's that's what I'm talking about, Tom. Lauren. Oh, what about oh, Cindy's? Okay, okay, Lauren, thank you. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Cindy's connecting to audio here, so maybe we'll get her in a second here. Um, I know Mike at Equitable. Mike? Good morning, everyone. Mike Pataglia, a financial advisor with Equitable Advisors. Great, great. Uh, Heather Kemp. Um, Heather Kemp, I am with uh, Genesee Ace Employment, office manager. Great, welcome. And uh, there's a, it's not a familiar face, but familiar, familiar name, Jan Ben Beglander. How you been, Jan? Hi, Jan. Um, I'm with uh, Cornell Cooperative Extension. I'm the Master Gardener Coordinator and Agriculture Outreach Coordinator. Hence Great. the trunk load of plants. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. I like that. Hey, Jan, you could talk about the egg, di egg dinner when we get there. <laughs> um, yeah, I haven't heard anything about the egg dinner in like over a year. <laughs> yeah, I know. We were just talking about we got to get an ag committee meeting together. I know there's not much we can do, and I know we can't have an ag dinner right now, but we at least can get together and talk. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We'll talk about how it used to be. How's that? Yeah. Okay, <laughs> sounds good. Okay, I think that's everybody uh, that's on my screen, and I don't have a second screen. So, if, if anybody, if anybody I, I missed, chirp, chirp in right now. But I think I've got everybody. So, okay. If so, I'm going to move along. So, I, Stephen, you want to uh, take over the screen, and I, we're going to do a PowerPoint presentation, and, and all of us are going to uh, share with the duties here on the staff and. And I, I'm going to open up with uh, uh, what, what is the Chamber of Commerce? I know it, it seems like a simple question, uh, but it, you know, a lot of people really don't understand what the Chamber does. Um, first of all, I think like I always want to say that we're not a, we're not a government uh, agency. We are a private, uh, not-for-profit, membership-driven organization. We have over 500 members right now. Uh, we, we do get some funding for uh, from the government, from the county for tourism, but I'll let uh, Shelley, uh, Kelly uh, Rapone talk about that later. Uh, but basically, you know, the, the chamber is, uh, you know, I, I'll, I can give you our, our standard mission statement, which we've had for many, many years, and, and it is quite explicit, although it's probably too wordy, uh, but the Genesee County Chamber of Commerce leads in the pursuit of creating an environment for business success, which will enhance the quality of life for citizens of Genesee County. Uh, a simpler way of putting that is that, you know, the, cha the chamber basically is a group of businesses, industries, agriculture businesses, and other organizations throughout the county that, and our, our job at the chamber here is to help them succeed any way possible. That's, that's our job, whatever it takes to, to give them su uh, success, we're there for support. We're a support group for our business community. And, and our belief is that if there, if we do that, it'll help us have, have a thriving economy in, in Genesee County. And if we have a thriving economy in Genesee County, it's good for everybody. It's better quality of life for everyone. So that's really the mission of the uh, uh, Genesee County Chamber of Commerce. Um, we've been in existence since 1972. Uh, we were merged with the, the Batavia Chamber of Commerce and the Leroy Chamber of Commerce merged it that year to be form the Genesee County Chamber of Commerce. So we've been around for a long time. And uh, I think we, we've, we've, we've tried our best to uh, serve the businesses, whether they're new or existing uh, in, within Genesee County. So that's what the chamber is. Uh, I'm gonna turn it over now to Kelly Birmingham and she's gonna talk about some of the things we do at the chamber. <laughs> Uh, events especially, which is her, her specialty is special events, so. Yes, and a few things. Um, it goes against all my instincts to be talking to a screen because my job is to bring people together. So, um, and then I ask my colleagues to feel free to join in and you know, anything I'm saying, if you want to add to it, that's fine too. So anyway, the good old days when we used to be able to see people's full face without a mask, we ran a lot of events. Um, and Stephen, I guess you could go to the next screen. There you go. Yep. Um, our annual award ceremony. Um, this year is actually our 49th year of doing this. Um, I've been at the chamber 26 years, so you could do the math. I've been doing this for a long time. 
It is our chamber's um, largest event. We call it the county's premier event. It's kind of like the Oscars. We uh, call for nominations. It is, you have to be a chamber member to receive an award, but it goes out to the public and you're nominated, um, businesses and individuals. Our individuals are called Geneseans and they're people out there volunteering, just doing what they do for the pure love and passion of what they do. Usually the people that don't want the award. So um, this is usually held in March. Last year, we had 304 people there. Um, this year, I'll speak about how we're doing it a little different. But again, um, it's a great honor. You're nominated by your, your peers and other businesses. Um, you, um, you, we usually have a social hour. It's 5.30 to 7 and then our awards. Um, and the best part about our ceremony is you actually see what the business and individual does via a video. We have a great guy, Paul Figlo, he goes out, he does a video and you actually see what they do. So you're not just sitting there listening to someone read off um, a bunch of stuff. So it's a great honor. Um, as, a, as recipients have said, they don't realize what a big honor it is. So we try to stress uh, them to invite all their family and friends. It's like, again, it's like an Oscar awards ceremony and um, they get a lot of PR. The Daily News covers them. They do a whole article on them in the Business Outlook. Um, the Batavian gives them a lot of PR, the Chamber, the WBTA. So um, that's how it used to be done. And if anyone wants to put any input, Tom, I know you always have a few things that you like to add. Yeah, I think it's it's a it's a great event, and it's uh, you know it is 300 people. It, the winners a lot of times have never been to the event. If you've been to the event, you really understand what it's like. Uh, it is is uh, and um, I, I think that the, they're really surprised at uh, what a great event it is. And I, I'll bring it back. And actually, uh, this comes from Reed Smalley, who used you know you probably you may know we have somebody from the Best Center on the line. Uh, but Reed was the best center uh, uh, director before John was there. Uh, and he, he came up to me and told me, now Reed had been to a number, he worked for a number of uh, colleges throughout the uh, Northeast and had been to, he said, he told me, he goes, you know, I've been to about 25 different awards ceremonies from Chamber of Commerce. Because most Chambers of Commerce hold an awards uh, ceremony and recognize uh, a business of the year and, um, business people of the year. He goes, yours is by far the best uh, event I've ever been to. So we're pretty proud of that. And Kelly B gets a lot of the, the credit for that. We, we've got it down to a science after all these years, I think. Yeah. And, we, and everything doesn't go perfect, but it's it's a wonderful thing. And it's a wonderful gathering. And as uh, you know, Kelly said, we had this March 7th last year and the world ended the next week. Uh, we, we had 300 people there and you know now we can't have 300 people there but I'll let Kelly speak to what we are going to be doing uh, this year and okay. you probably can even announce the winners too right yes yes we'll do that you want me to do that right now Tom okay so our award recipients if you haven't already seen um, our business of the year is Pellegrino Auto Sales our agricultural business of the year is L&M Specialty Fabrications. Our special service recognition of the year is Rochester Regional Hospital um, Health, excuse me, UMMC. And our Genesee of the year is Tammy Hathaway. Um, what we're doing this year is we're going virtual. We're, we don't have a set date, but what we're gonna do is record each individual award recipient, just as we have done in the past, we're gonna have a location, they're gonna come in, um, we're gonna announce them, gonna show their video, they'll accept the award and it'll be, it'll be recorded. Um, for the safety of everybody, it'll probably be, you know, scheduled a time slot where they come in, they do it, Tom will still be the MC, and we'll run it just as we usually do, but just with no people. And then we'll announce a date where we'll launch it on our YouTube channel and various other social media platforms. So, and we'll publicize that when that's gonna be ready and when that's gonna be out, but it probably won't be till end of February, probably beginning of March. Right. Right. And I think you know, uh, it, th there's pros and cons. We have to do it this way this year because 
that's the, you know, we can't get together with that many people, but the nice thing is it'll be all pre-recorded and uh, people will be able to see it. Family and friends can see it all over the country. We'll have it on our website for the full year. So anybody who wants to go and, and see it at a later date that can't make it that when we do release it, we'll be able to see it. So, uh, and we also plan on honoring uh, the, the winners from this year at next year's awards, because next year we plan on having 300 people in a room next uh, uh, March uh, of 2022. Uh, hopefully we're there by then. So yeah. Uh, one other thing I want to point out, the picture we have on the screen there, the one on the left uh, of the speaker at the uh, podium there, uh, that he's a gentleman at the head of uh, Upstate Niagara Cooperative, who won, I think, two years ago. And they, they won for all the work they've done with as an ag business in the area. And he came down from Buffalo, had never been to it. And I don't think he was, I think he thought he was coming out here to the sticks to Genesee County and uh, uh, was just going to be, oh, well, you know, and I think he was, he was so impressed by the whole uh, ceremony and so overwhelmed by it that they actually announced that they, they had purchased the Alpena building, uh, which they weren't going to announce for another week or so. Uh, but they, they got so excited because of the number of people there that they thought it was a good place to announce. So, so we're always pretty proud of that, too, that we broke some news about a, a, another business uh, expanding in the, in the county. Yeah, and I think everybody was happy about it, except for the GCEDC table, <laughs> the economic yeah, yeah. development table, because they had their uh, dinner or award, no, they don't have awards, but a lunch the next week, and they were planning on announcing it there. Uh, so we kind of got to break the news before them. <laughs> yeah, they, they worked so hard to put the, the whole deal together, and then we got to steal their thunder. So well, we're good friends, and we work together, so uh, we got a kick out of it and kind of enjoyed it. But <laughs> yeah, they were the only ones that weren't happy about it. It's a, you got caught up in the excitement of the evening. See, it's a it's a big it's a big event. So exciting evening. Exciting evening. Okay, um, Stephen. Yep. Okay, speaking of ag, um, ag agriculture is our number one industry in Genesee County. If you didn't know that, number two is tourism, right, Kelly R? Because <laughs> she'll speak on that. So we do a uh, celebrate egg dinner, right, Jan? <laughs> Um, we had it all planned this year. Uh, we usually have 400 people. It's held at the Alexander Fire Hall and it's just a way to celebrate egg, just what it sounds like. Um, it's a collaboration, Ashley. The chamber collaborates with the Cornell Cooperative Extension. That's why I keep bringing Jan's name up. Genesee County Soil and Water and the Farm Bureau. So it is a collaboration of all four of us and it's um, a dinner. All the food is donated. And it's egg industry, it's business industry, it's individuals, and it's just a great casual way to come out and celebrate what we do here, our number one industry. So that's on hold. Uh, we did have it scheduled last year. It's on pause and we're trying to figure out how to do it this year. Hopefully we'll possibly get it in by the end of the year, I'm hoping. Um, so I don't know, anything else, Tom, you wanna add? Yeah, fingers crossed that, you know, we. <laughs> We talked it at the beginning here, Jan, a little bit about getting the committee back together because there's really nothing we could do uh, right now. With it was such a huge event, but hopefully, maybe by the end of the year, we can pull it off. And uh, it, it's it is a great thing. It's the best food you'll ever have at, a, at any dinner you go to. With oh yeah, I wanted to mention Frank Penna does a great job. He's our caterer, and again, it's open. You don't have to be a chamber member. It's it's open to um, anyone that would like to attend. Very minimal fee, I think it's $30 a ticket. And it's just a nice night, nice Saturday, come out. Um, there are adult beverages and mm -hmm. non-adult beverages, but it's just a, a good night, so. And the ice cream machine. <laughs> and there's ice cream. Yeah. Thanks, Sarah. Yep, yep. Yes. And locally sourced food, most, almost all the food's locally sourced, which is great too. So uh, yep. you get a bunch of egg people together, they know how to eat, right? <laughs> For sure. And then on the other side is, well, we do our, an agricultural tour, which is usually in the fall in September, but it's, it's I'm gonna ask Tom this question. It's been called the Decisions Makers Agricultural Forum. I'm not sure why it's called that, but it ends up to be quite a tour. Again, open to the public. We get together our ag committee and we either come up with a theme or we look at, um, businesses that are in the egg um, community and um, put about three of them on our 
agenda and we get a bus and we send people out. However, we start in the morning out at the fairgrounds. We usually have a keynote speaker. Um, last year it was Bill Schreiber from Awaka and we load the buses up and then we usually go to three places which are very unique. Last time we did this, it was kind of a wine tour. So we had some great attendance, not just because of the wine, but very unique um, wineries local, which people are, a lot of people don't know we have some nice local wineries. Um, and then we end up back at the fairgrounds a little bit after noon, one o'clock. And again, that's open to the public. It's free. Um, don't think we're going to put people on a bus for a while, but um, that's, you know, we try to highlight some unique businesses. I think one year we went out to um, Hargrove Farms, which was really neat, a dairy farm, all kind of automated. Baskin Livestock, one of my favorites, because what they do is they take all the like junk foodie stuff, like Twinkies and Doritos that go to that don't go to waste, and they mix them and they have a feed for cattle and different livestock. So that's where that comes from. But it's very educational. It's a lot of fun. Again, a great networking opportunity and a great way to, to celebrate our ag community. Yeah, it's it's one of my favorite days of the year because uh, it's amazing when you go on this tour. You know, go buy a lot of these farms and these businesses every day, their whole life, and you don't know what really goes on there. And ag agriculture and farming is so high tech these days. And I'm always blown away by what they're doing with drones, what they're doing with technology. Uh, it's just unbelievable that what goes on right in our county that uh, we should be very proud of. And it's it's a great way to get a glimpse. And it's a it's a free morning that. Uh, as you can see, nice weather, walking around and uh, uh, just learning a lot about what's going on in our county. It's, it's, it's a lot of fun. Yep. And again, it's free. It blends, you know, your local community, your business people, just anyone that wants to attend. All I have to do is uh, RSVP. But we'll see what happens with that. I kind of feel bad saying all this and saying, but we're not going to do that. Yeah. You know? well, I, think, I think everybody's in the same boat, no matter what business you're in. You're just kind of waiting to see what can happen, maybe by the fall. We'll see. You know, we just keep your fingers crossed and uh, see what happens, you know. Right. All right. We'll move on. Yay. My favorite, the home show. Um, hopefully most of you are aware that the chamber has taken over the home show. We've been running it since 2013. Um, we took it over. The Batavia Area JCs had run it for many, many years. Very, very tough um, event to run as a volunteer organization. So they came to us and it only made sense that the chamber would take it over since our job is to support business and help them in any way we can. So what we do is we sell booth spaces. Um, we have over 90 booths and about 65 vendors. We put them in the Floody Ice Rink for a weekend and hopefully we get 1,500 to 2,000 people through our doors. Great event, again, it's usually in the spring when everyone's sick of hibernating, they come out. Um, and it's fun to watch the people, <laughs> again, uh, kind of, you know, see each other after a long cold winter. And what I like is the magic of the vendor to vendor business that gets done. Uh, that, that's a great thing to see because they're excited too to, to have FaceTime with other vendors. But where else would you, you know, these businesses have you know this many people at one spot it's a captive audience um you know a great event again that was put on the shelf too last year and we're hopeful that we're going to get it in this year yeah we have talked uh we're doing some planning right now um it's it's tentative right now we'd like to talk to the county health department who we're pretty good friends with and uh, we have a safety plan that we could possibly do it with social distancing and masking. Uh, there's also a question about the ice rink, whether the ice will be off. We usually uh -huh. get in there in early April when the ice is off, but there's a chance that they may go longer with their ice, which would change the date. Uh, we're kind of hopeful that we can do it, if not in April, maybe a little later in the year. Uh, and it, it'll depend on the, uh, the county health department, and we, we will play by the rules and we won't do anything that uh, they don't feel is safe. Uh, so we'll, we're gonna see how that goes. And, and I think our vendors are itching to get in front of people as well. And uh, so uh, it, that's, a, yeah, everything's to be determined. 
to be yeah. determined. And if you're interested and in participating in the home show, give me a call. I do have, I do have booths available. So, um, you know, let me know about if you're interested. And I was going to throw out here, Kelly, that although it's a home show, there are a lot of different types of vendors. You know, it's not just a, you don't have to be yeah. related to home improvement or anything. Right. You know, all the nonprofit people out there, we had nonprofit booths. We have other kinds of booths. So, yeah, um, I know that the ARC has participated. Mm -hmm. um, so. We've had banks and, and real estate people and, uh, you know, anybody that wants to get in front of a bunch of people. Uh, it's, it's a good way to do it. Yeah. And Kelly's kind of being a little, um, I don't know, shy about the amount of booths because we um, we sell out pretty fast. And this year may be a little different, but uh, get a hold of Kelly if you want to get in because we're planning on going. So, right. yeah. yeah. Once the word's out, I'm sure we'll fill up pretty fast. So, mm -hmm. what my favorite event? I love it. It's a it lot. It's, it's Question fun. here how, how much are the booths from Lynn Westcott in, in the chat? Uh, oh, um, if you're a chamber member, 350 If you're not, and if you want, if you need electric, it's twenty five dollars on top of that. That's, that's okay. for the whole three days. The whole weekend. It's very, very affordable very compared to other shows. Yeah, compared to other shows, very inexpensive. Yeah. All right, let's move to summertime. Ready? Yep. <laughs> of course, we have to have a golf outing because everybody does. But um, again, that got shelved. Our 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 golf outing is just a lot of fun. It's a non competitive. It's um, a scramble. And we brought on uh, Bocce a few years ago for all the people that said, I don't golf. So um, we provide golf and Bocce this year. We're going to have it. July 21st is a date. We're out at Davis, Davis Countryside Meadows in Pavilion. We do rotate it throughout the chamber member golf courses in Genesee County. And it's a two year rotation. So we're going to be there this year and next year. Um, it's a great opportunity to come out and network. I don't know if you're going to have to wear a mask or not, but come on out. Um, we usually have about 80 to 100 golfers, 20 to 30 um, bocce participants. Again, very reasonable. And you see the picture there with Coach Swaz. Uh, sponsorship opportunities available, not just for golf, but also for bocce. Just a fun day. Come out, have a good time, network, um, socialize. And if you just want to come to the dinner, that's available too at a very minimal cost. So um, golf usually goes out at noon and bocce usually goes out at one, you know, half day. We usually get done. We're very good at moving along. So you're usually out of there by 6 p.m. If you have to get to your golf league that night, right, Tom? Yeah, right, exactly. <laughs> this is before six o'clock we've been out. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Again, any information that you need, just give me a call. I have... Um, Give you more information regarding all that. I'm going to defer to Tom for the next one. It's our annual membership meeting. Okay, yeah, that, right? that, uh, that that is a requirement of our bylaws that we have a membership meeting once a year, uh, where we vote in our new uh, board members, and uh, uh, but we also have uh, our, we do a presentation. You can see the screen up in the front. Uh, we've done it at Terry Hills the last few years. Uh, we do a presentation on what happened in the chamber in the uh, past year and what our plans are for the future uh, for the next year and again that's all required by the bylaws and we all uh, usually have a good crowd uh, i think we've uh, 130 people was about them in the average the last couple of years we had 150 your first year here okay yeah <laughs> yeah and it's uh uh it's a nice just a luncheon a quick luncheon we try to keep it you know get you in and out of there but to get again another chance to network uh with with uh, chamber people and find out what what's been going on at the chamber and what's going to go on in the chamber. Um, I think that's, uh, you know, I, I don't know what else to say about the event. It's uh, We did um, it this year via Zoom. and uh, Yes, it was different this last year. We only had uh, 25, we could only have 25 people. So that's what we had, or 50 people, I think at that time. Yeah. Uh, we ended up having about 30 people, mostly board members, uh, because we had to limit it. It was kind of by, by invitation only this year where we usually don't do it. It's usually open to anybody uh, that wants to come and hopefully maybe by next you know, November, it's usually October, November, late, late October, early November, uh, we'll be able to do that again. But, but that, you know, again, remains to be seen to be determined. Everything's to be determined. 
Oh, okay, more social interactive events. Business after hours and specialty events. Um, business after hours are kind of what they sound like. Um, chamber members, you could host a business after hours. They're usually on a Thursday evening. I don't know why, it just seems to work best. 5 to 7 p.m. Um, it's your opportunity to show off your business. We promote it. We get hopefully, you know, uh, 20, 30, 40, 50 people in your business. Allows you to uh, talk to them, give them tours, show them what you do. Um, we've had some pretty unique places we've gone. Um, up in the corner is the firing pin. So we got to actually shoot guns. Right, Stephen? Right. Um, the center one is over at the um, Rolling Hills Asylum. So we got a nice tour. It's on a about that paranormal feeling. Um, and then the one on the end is a, uh, what was that speed networking, which is coming up, which we'll be doing again. That went over great uh, in person and we have done it via Zoom, which we're gonna do again on the 13th? The 10th. The 10th. Yes. And that gives you an opportunity to give your little 30, 45 second elevator speech and connect with other people. So that's a great opportunity. Uh oh, excuse me. Oh, never mind. <laughs> um, in the bottom corner, you see that is a tour. Um, we collaborate with a, a group called Startup Genesee, and that's to promote um, small businesses, new businesses. And what we've done with that is we actually tour municipalities. That one is Oakfield. Oakfield, yep. We've done Leroy, Bergen. Um, Batavia. And again, it's free to, to anyone that would like to do it. It's an opportunity to move around and see other businesses, hear their story, how they started out and how they got to where they are. And I think we're trying to plan one for Corfu um, yeah. in the summer. Well, yeah, we basically had it in place. Um, it was supposed to be in June of last year, but then, you know, everything changed. Um, so yeah, as far as I know, especially because it'll be mostly an outside event, we are planning on that in the summertime. Okay. Um, but that's yeah, still still getting figured out. Still getting figured out. Mm -hmm. And then the last picture is the Harvester Center's 50th anniversary. Um, we just they ask us to help them promote it. We and that's what we do. We do anything for our chamber members. Um, again, all these opportunities are to network, to meet other chamber members, <clears throat> to promote yourself. If you're interested in, in hosting a business after hours, I'm not quite sure where that we stand with that right now, but let me know. And when we're, we could get back to doing what we do in person, we'll try to make that happen for you. I think that's it. Okay, well, thanks, yeah. Kelly. You're welcome. I'm looking at uh, our agenda here. Yeah. And turn it over to Steven. I was going to say, I can kind of take over this one. Um, you know, we are still actively having events. Uh, they're all kind of like what we're doing right now. Um, but we've been very active throughout this whole year. We actually had um, a Zoom seminar for every reopening phase of New York State back in April, June, you know, that time. And we got great attendance. We had our local health department, uh, Paul Pettit and our county manager, Jay Gazelle, both present and kind of give an update for the businesses and what they can do and what they need to do. Um, and I know our first one, we had about 180 people attend. Mm -hmm. um, so that they were very popular. Um, and then we have continued our business workshop series, which we do just about every month. And it's just a different topic that, that our members kind of send over to us to um, have a, a presentation about, and we try to get good presenters, you know, people that are experts in the field or, or know about what the topics are. Um, Kelly already kind of touched on this one, virtual speed networking. Uh, we are going to still do speed networking next month, and it's basically a Zoom, um, and every person on the call, kind of similar to our introductions at the beginning, will get a nice 30 to a minute, 30 seconds to a minute long kind of pitch to the group about what they do, and who they are and how they can help and, and those kind of things. Um, and then like we already talked about, the annual membership meeting was via Zoom this year, kind of a hybrid where we had people there and people on Zoom. Um, as of now, we're still doing everything via Zoom for these kind of events, but we are planning on kind of having a hybrid model um, in the future, whenever that is. 
So we will have people attend and then still run a Zoom um, similar to this. Um, here's some examples of the seminars we run. We have them about once a month. Um, these are all things that were provided to us by our members and we kind of, um, you know, allow them to direct us on what we should do. Um, Facebook advertising is huge. Obviously, everybody's always interested in that. This was just last month, PPP loan forgiveness and updates, kind of timely. Um, I'm not going to read through all of them, but there's just a, an example that we do a lot of different kinds of seminars like that. Um, is, Steve, can I ask a question? Sure. Are any are any of those recorded? Like, could, could I can I go back and view the Facebook advertising? Um, we don't have that one recorded because that was okay. right before we started doing them. But all the ones that have been on Zoom are recorded and put on our YouTube. Um, but Lynn, in the future, we're going to be recording them. <laughs> so uh, yeah, just keep an eye out, and, and we'll make sure you know about them. It's one of those things that we've learned. I think is everybody with their business. Uh, there are some advantages that have come out of this pandemic that you've learned how to do things differently. And we never really thought about recording them before, but now that we've started doing the Zoom, we have been recording them and we'll just keep continue to do it in, in the future. And, and we also realize that, you know, we usually hold them at eight o'clock in the morning uh, on like a Wednesday morning. And, and for some people, it's not easy to get here. And we, we realize that it probably stifled our attendance a little bit, but like Steven says, we will probably do a, a hybrid uh, method. If you want to come and be live and in person when we can do that, you can, but we will also still off, offer a Zoom. So if you want to just uh, zoom in and, and, and watch it, or we'll have it recorded for you know, uh, future use. So yeah, a good question. Thanks. And Lynn, if you have any questions about that, you know, I'm available. I do that kind of stuff. So if you need anything, just feel free to reach out. Um, to get into the next thing here, we this was a, a real accomplishment for us this year, uh, something that I know we're all very proud of. Um, we've been doing our business directory for years and years. Um, and this year, we have we finally decided to amp it up and, and really distribute it as much as we could. Um, and the main reason we did that is because we combined it with our resident resource guide. Uh, they were two separate publications, um, the business directory being chamber members and their information, contact info and stuff like that. Um, and then the resident resource guide being just what you would think it would be government resources, housing resources, health care, um, basically everything that somebody new or even who lives in Genesee County would need to know about living here. Um, we printed and distributed over 23,000 copies. Uh, we partnered with uh, our local penny saver here and put them inside of every penny saver. Um, what's so nice about that is if you're a member of the chamber, your listing and your contact information was listed right in that business directory. Um, I know that this crowd, you know, I, I'd say a 50 and over crowd, uh, this was incredibly popular. We had a lot of calls, a lot of people stopping in, asking for more copies, uh, thanking us for putting it together. Um, so this is something that we're going to keep doing into the future. And um, yeah, I know we're all proud of it. I already said that. Even I just wanted to add to um, it's one of the pieces that regularly goes quickly in the vestibule downstairs. I came in this morning trying to figure out which brochure was missing. And of course, it's the directory. It's very popular. Good to hear. Good to hear. Um, for those of you that don't know, we have two entrances here at the chamber. Um, our upstairs lobby is, is our Chamber of Commerce lobby, and then Kelly Rapone runs the visitor center downstairs that's all focused on tourism. Um, so that's good to hear. We got two different markets taking it. Um, we're also putting together a Genesee County map that is currently in development. Uh, we do that every two years. Um, it, you know, here's me. I, I, use, I use Google Maps and things like that, but this is, again, a, a popular um, publication. People come in and ask for them. And I think people actually collect them. I think there's a portion of people out there that they want a new edition of the map every, every two years. Um, so advertising is being sold for that. Uh, reach out to Kelly or I, we're, we're currently doing it right now. Uh, members get a, a great discount on advertising. So feel free to reach out. Um, I also wanted to say on the map too, um, I think one of the things that's really nice benefit about it and why people like it so much is that it's it's street indexed. So it's not just a map, but it has, you know, the grids and all of the streets listed, which is really more helpful for wayfinding. Yes. And, and we provide to anybody that advertises on it, we have a laminated version 
uh, that they can put on their wall. And I think that's one of the reasons some people advertise, I think, because they want that laminated version. I've seen it in, you know, county buildings and places like that, because it is a good reference. You say you want to know where a street is, uh, you, you can look it up right on the, on the map on the wall. I have them on my, in my office. Maybe you can turn this around and show you. Around, uh, around here. You can see the maps on the wall, and, and I refer to them. I refer to them quite a, a, a bit. You know, when I, there's a street that you've heard of, what, you, you, you kind of know where the street is, but you don't know where it is, and you can find that really quickly. So, yeah, and to speak to that even further, um, the advertisers all get a plotting on the map. So um, there's a, a Genesee County and a Batavia, a city of Batavia side. Um, so anybody that's a local business that wants to be plotted on the map, that comes with an advertisement. Um, so that's another benefit. Uh, I'm going to exit out of this here quick and show you guys our online directory. Um, so obviously we have our printed business directory that we distribute that way. But on our website, we have our online directory. And my computer is going to take forever to load here. Um, and this is up 24 seven and it's very similar to the printed business directory where it has all of our members listed. Um, but what's nice about this is we have links to social media, links to websites, um, all sorts of different things. And now that it popped up on the screen, I might as well tell you, you can run advertising on this. Uh, we're selling that if you see the ARC ad here, um, that's available too. Um, I always like to show Terry Hills because I think they did a nice job on theirs. This is something that you can go in and edit yourself. Um, we have a, a software that you log into called Chamber Master, but I, I, I tend to be, um, if you want, send it to me, I will do it for you. You know, I have no problem helping out. Um, but as you can see, it has, you know, an address that links to Google Maps, phone number, fax. Uh, you can send an email, visit your website, links to social media, um, a quick about us, they put a video up and some images. So this is really nice. Um, I know some members that don't have websites, uh, which is, you know, that's still part of the world today. Um, th this is their only online presence. So it's something that's nice for members and it's a good thing for search engines. Uh, Google really likes our, our business directory. So um, it's a good option to be in. And let me go back to my slide here. I'm just gonna show it this way. Everybody can see that still, right? Good. Be a little bit bigger. Yeah, I, I've got to hop around here. So um, we have our events calendars. Um, I know that's kind of a odd thing to promote right now, but um, we have events calendars for all sorts of different events. Um, the Chamber of Commerce one is, you know, you can do uh, anything business related that is considered an event, you know, if you have a seminar or, or anything like that, that's all stuff we will absolutely promote and put on our website for you. And then downstairs for our tourism department, we have visit Genesee NY um, and we have another events calendar and Kelly, you want to speak a little bit to that? Oh. Still, okay. Yep, Sorry about good. that. Yeah, you're yeah. good. So we do have uh, two websites. Uh, one is all chamber related, as Stephen mentioned, and the other is visitgenesee.ny.com, which is all tourism uh, marketing. And so uh, on our events calendar for G Visit Genesee NY, we tend to uh, include all events that exclude the uh, type of business related. So uh, events that uh, promote our our assets uh, like the county park, uh, muck dogs. Uh, Jan, I did just add all your master gardeners events last week. So I was glad to see that you have your calendar, uh, you know, online. So um, events are, are slim pickings right now. So thank you. Um, and then what we'll do in that regard is, you know, take our events and then promote them through our tours and social channels. Yep. And that's a, a good lead in here to my next slide. Um, you know, as a Chamber of Commerce and our, our tourism department, we are both incredibly active on social media. Um, as you can see by the, the big pictures here, we have a Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube page. Um, before this year, we were shooting a lot of video. Uh, now it's a different kind of video, but we do go out and shoot actual videos of our events and ribbon cuttings and things like that. Um, but then all the other ones, you know, we just want to help promote and support members any way we can. 
Um, that's kind of where our, our focus on social media came from. It provides a way for us to help get your name out, help promote whatever you want to promote, and also show support from the Chamber of Commerce. Um, so all of these are available to you. Just feel free to reach out and we will help um, coordinate that however we can. Uh, and then, of course, our, our tourism page is very much focused on, on reaching out of the county and, and they do a lot of advertising into Canada and, and things like that for our golf program. Um, but they also have a lot of highlights of the county on theirs as well. Uh, Chamber Chat is our weekly e-newsletter. It comes out every Tuesday at 10 a.m. Um, if you're a member, you should get it. Sometimes constant contact gets a little funny and gets it blocked, but check your spam too. Um, it goes out to over a thousand emails. Um, obviously our, our 500 or so chamber members and then additional emails either from members or associated people. Um, it's a great way to stay up to date with everything we have going on. It has events, uh, you know, anything relevant that's going on. Um, you know, it's a great way to just stay up to date. It's also a place where if you want to send things to us to help get out to other members, um, that's no problem. We will absolutely help coordinate that. Um, just need to be sent over to us and, and we'll figure out a way to do it. Even um, I was just going to add on that, um, that, you know, employees of the organizations that join can also receive the email, not just the, the primary. Yeah. Yes, that's a good point. Um, when you join, there's always a primary contact and sometimes like a billing contact that we get. But anybody that is in your organization that you think should be receiving this e-newsletter, we will absolutely put them on the list. Um, you just got to let us know and we will do that. Um, the next slide is employment support. And um, I don't know if Sarah, you want to take the lead on this a little bit? Sure, real quick, we do have um, job posting opportunities in our office on social media and on the website. Uh, we do have our labor posters as well on our website. We've done our best to try and get them all in one place. I know it can be very intimidating, especially someone starting out their own business, trying to make sure that you cover your butt and have all your posters up and make sure they're all up to date. You, it, you can't even go on the state's website and get them fairly easily. Like you have to kind of click through and read through stuff. So we put this together to make it easier to make sure that you're covered and that you have um, a lot of things that you need. And we have some explanations, like, of course, we're not going to have an unemployment insurance um, poster for you, but you need to have that. And if you don't have that, we have the number on there so you can call. And we did just update them for 2021. So I think that's... Uh, and, and by we, there. Sarah, I mean, she did all the work on this. Um, she sure. did all the research and got this all together. It was a great idea. Um, you know, there's companies that charge to send you these and it's like, you know, we might as well just have them available for members. I was going to say the same thing. I know she said we, she did all the work on this, but also, you know, when I first started here, we didn't have anything like that. And uh, I subscribed to a service and it was a nice laminated uh, big poster that had the things you had to have there, but it cost $99 and they wanted to update it every six months because things change. And you get, to, oh man, I used to get calls every time they want to update it. And then to realize that at pretty much everything there is, is free if you just can research it. So uh, one of our members, again, we take suggestions from our members and it said, why don't you guys do this? Put these together. So Sarah took it and, and ran with it. And it's, it's a great resource for any of our businesses and it's free and it, it's all in one place that you can get everything. So uh, we're, we're pretty proud of that. And I'm sure you're aware that you have to have sexual harassment training for your employees once a year. And we do offer that. It's so easy. You just sign up on the website. It's $20 per employee. And they just take the class. And it's interactive. So you answer questions. And it's just, you get a certificate at the end. It's just easier to do it um, that way for some businesses, especially some of the smaller businesses have five, six employees. They can all just log in, get it done. And then you have it and on record that it was completed and you, you're um, in a better spot. Yeah, we, we all did it here. It takes maybe about an hour, um, completely online, mostly videos and uh, quizzes and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, we wanted to provide an option for our members to do this without having too much hassle. Um, so that's where that came from. And then the next slide here you know, is- Steven, backing yeah. up on the, on the oh, you're, no, forget it. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I kind of figured. Uh, <laughs> you know, this is a slide that uh, little did I know last March we would still be talking about and focusing on. Um, but obviously a huge part of the Chamber's 2020 has been COVID-19 support for local businesses. Um, and the first thing I'll talk about since we already talked about them is, well, let me get to the right page here. Um, along with the labor posters that Sarah has gathered, we also gathered COVID-19 posters. Um, you know, it's, it's something that businesses have to let their um, visitors and employees know that these rules are in place and that they have to abide by them. And um, so there's a few options for those here that we, we kind of put together. Um, all free, again, you can print them right out. Um, they're from a lot of different sources. So uh, make sure to take a look at those. And then to continue here, we do have a COVID-19 business resources page. Um, this is generally updated, you know, once every couple weeks with new stuff. Um, we haven't broken them down into the reopening of Genesee County, which was huge for us in the summertime. And then federal resources, New York state resources, county resources, um, a lot of information here, a lot of links to different things. Um, I know that this was very popular with our members and there's a ton of info out there. Um, so we kind of do some of the legwork of looking at what we actually think um, is appropriate for this page. Uh, I know that, and I'm sure everybody else is very similar. I get a couple emails a day with some kind of COVID-19 resource, um, but we kind of try to organize them here and, and give our businesses an option to, to go online and, and find some good information. Um, anything you wanna to add, Tom, are we good? No, I think that's good, yeah. Okay. Um, we also did a lot of promotion for COVID-19 support. Um, hours, curbside takeout, gift card, shop small, all, you know, that was a huge part of what we did all summer. And then we also did a lot of news releases right at the very beginning of this, just about everybody had a news release about if they were closed, if they were essential, if they were up, you know, if they had updated hours, updated um, operations, that's all stuff we help promote and we'll continue to promote throughout however long this takes to um, resolve. Okay, I can go back into full screen here now. Um, here's a wonderful picture of Sarah and I uh, at our business card display that we have in our front office. Um, part of the chamber membership is we exclusively refer chamber members. Uh, we're not the Better Business Bureau, but people kind of compare us to that. Uh, you know, they, they contact us. They say, you know, who's a good person for flooring? Who's a good person? Uh, to be my accountant, you know, who we get all those type of requests and, and people stopping in and phone calls and emails. And the people that we refer first will always be our chamber members because those are the people that we stand behind. Um, so if you don't have a business card in our lobby in the future, when we, we have events, uh, make sure you leave one in there because that's a good reference source. And we can also, um, you know, we'll pull the information right from our website and, and do it that way. So make sure that's all up to date. Um, you know, it's, it's business people and it's also everyday customers. You know, there's our members that come in and say, I need a sign. You know, who do you have that does signs? We're going to tell them our chamber members that do signs, you know, things like that. Um, so that's, that's a big part of what we do day to day. Um, I, can, I can tell you too, on that business card, uh, that it, it's, it's a lot more filled up than it looks in that picture. That was when they, we actually put up a second, we had to put up a second, uh, uh, set of uh, business card holders because we had filled them up. So, and since that time, there's there's a lot more in there than that, than it looks like. It's not like it's half filled up. That's just a, a brand new one that we had to put up. So, and we yeah, that's we'll take more if we can get them. Yeah, that's a while ago considering the no masks and also the yeah. short sleeve shirt and the shorts. So that was <laughs> that was a while ago. Um, the member decal is something I always like to highlight. Uh, you know, we have members that put this up every year and I love to see that uh, local businesses that have from 1999 to 2021 on their door. Um, I love that. That's a, a great way to show your support of our, our membership and then also show that, hey, I'm, you know, I'm a local business that's been here a long time and I'm part of the Genesee County Chamber of Commerce and have been for a long time. Um, so that's something I always recommend uh, to put up on your window. We have the the decal version that's 
you can go on your window. And then also we have an online version if you want to put it on your website. I know that service businesses and stuff like that, they like to put it in their things because it, it shows some uh, credibility. Um, so keep an eye out for that. If you're a member, you'll be getting one probably by the end of the month here. Um, I always kind of wait for a lot of membership dues to come in so I can do a big mailing, um, but keep an eye out. And that leads me right into this. You will also be getting this in the mailer pretty soon. Mm -hmm. We have a member to member discount program. Mm -hmm. uh, more or less, it's just discount from members for members. You can use them for yourself or give them out to all your employees. We do have some big members that give them out to all of their employees, um, OACA, uh, Batavia City Schools, uh, Grand Manufacturing. You know, we're talking a couple thousand people there just between those, those three. Um, a, a story I always like to tell is we have a member of Batavia's Original Pizza, Kathy Ferrara, who offered a discount on the member to member discount and she did 20% off anything. It was basically a 20% off discount. And after about a month, uh, she called us and said, we got to change that discount. And I, I said, why? What's going on? She said, we got to change it to 10%. I'm getting too many people coming in here using these cards. And it was because for anybody that knows, Awaka is down the street from Batavia's original, and they have three, 400 employees that all got these cards. So that was their lunch for a while. Um, so that's something we always promote. You can offer your own, um, give them out to your employees. We always send them out. We'll send out an updated list as much as we can. It's on our website all the time too. Uh, then something I like to highlight too with the discounts is that we get a lot of miscellaneous discounts and deals. Uh, people kind of reach out to us and say, we want to get this out to all the local businesses. So being part of the membership gives you access to some of these things that you might not have had access to before. Um, one that I always like to highlight is Batavia Downs gives out free concert tickets to our members. Um, and, you know, besides last summer, they were, they were going to do it again. <laughs> so uh, that's, that's something that we, we take a lot of pride in, you know, we will get all those, those things out to our members to try to provide any kind of discount or deal that we can and make you aware of them. Uh, and now here's, here's the slide. Kelly Rapone, it's your turn. Okay. So, um, tourism. Yep. The chamber does all of the regular tour uh, chamber activities that, you know, they just spoke to you about, but we also perform a function on behalf of Genesee County uh, destination marketing. So we are annually contracted by the county to uh, perform destination marketing services um, with the primary goal of bringing outside dollars into the county through visitor spending. Tourism, as Kelly B. mentioned, is our second largest industry, second to agriculture. Um, it employs about 3,000 local jobs and positions. Uh, Darien Lake is actually the largest seasonal employer in New York State and our largest tourism attraction. Uh, typically, the tourism industry in Genesee County is about $176 million economic impact through you know, salaries, uh, visitor spending on recreation, um, uh, attractions and whatnot. Clearly, 2020 uh, was devastating to the tourism industry locally, and not just locally, but obviously globally. Um, so clearly, we, we won't see those kind of numbers this year. But typically, our, our, our primary function is to market our tourism assets. And those primarily are restaurants, retailers, uh, historic sites, uh, outdoor recreation, and other tourism, hospitality types of businesses. Um, our funding for the, the tourism program primarily comes to us through the 3% bed tax that is uh, in place on visitor stays at our lodging. Um, that is our primary funding stream, but we also um, raise quite a lot of our own resources to be able to further our, our reach. Um, and we do that through co-oping with some of our attractions uh, where we'll match advertising dollars and that sort of thing. Um, and then we also receive uh, state uh, grants, although we did not this year. So primarily our job um, is to, like I said, market the hospitality sides of the business. And we do that to our primary audiences, our, our, our primary markets, if you will. Um, with Genesee County having uh, Six Flags as our largest attraction, Primarily, we're dealing with a family travel market as our largest audience. Um, and of those, the majority of them are coming from Southern Ontario. So Canada is uh, primarily our largest target market. But we also um, downstairs 
um, cater to uh, you know golfers who come. Uh, again, a lot of them coming down from Canada. Um, spring, we're very busy with sports, incoming sports teams. Um, in the summer, we, we you know have motor coach bus tours, and um, our season is primarily spring through fall. And then in the winter months, we typically will turn towards indoor water park promotion um, for this time of year, which is not happening um, because they're not open due to COVID. Uh, but primarily our function is advertising and promotion. So um, down here, we are um, targeting our messages through the various uh, marketing mediums, whether it be social, um, print, TV, uh, and then working to really just extend the reach of our businesses. So for instance, I, I mentioned uh, the Master Gardeners uh, that'll go on our event. So we will scout the, the county, if you will, for opportunities that we can promote our local events. Um, and then of course, our larger events, we, we will also partner with through collaborative marketing. Um, but really our, our program down here is to, you know, shine a light on our assets and help spread their reach to bring outside visitors in. And I guess that's a key thing to mention is you don't see a lot of what we do down here because primarily we are talking to outside people to bring them in to spend. Um, and our, our primary reach is, you know, within a 300 mile radius, but we also market um, across the Northeast and then nationally for uh, various um, trade travel associations and whatnot. Uh, we, we also produce a lot of um, printed materials to promote the county. This is our primary, it's the Genesee County Visitor Guide. Um, there are advertising opportunities uh, in this publication that we put out annually. And we produce 100,000 of these and uh, have a very wide distribution plan uh, throughout the Northeast, very heavily in New York State, of course. Uh, we also produce an annual golf package brochure. And this, this is where we partner with um, our hoteliers, a handful of hoteliers, as well as golf courses. And we package the golf product to make it one-stop shopping for uh, people to come and have a golf getaway experience here in Genesee County. And we, we've been doing this since, I think, 2006. We brought it in-house. Um, and the reason that we do do these bookings is that there was uh, a booking mechanism, if you will, was missing from, uh, from the opportunity for visitors. So what we did was said, okay, we'll step in. We'll be the booking agent to handle the transaction, to handle the arrangements. And it's worked out really well. Uh, we estimate that typically our golf packaging program will leave about $225,000 economic impact into the county each year. So uh, this is a really big program. Um, and um, we, at one point, we did do um, a spa package. So that might be something that Marion, is it Marion or Marianne? Marion, sorry. Yeah. yeah, maybe you and I could discuss down the road. Yeah. You know, we did two girlfriend getaways. We had some really cute visuals on that. So. Um, definitely something that, you know, we could look to explore down the road. Okay. We also put out the annual <clears throat> dining guide for the county. It highlights all the restaurants within the county. And there are advertising opportunities available in here as well. Um, although every restaurant in the county is listed. Uh, downstairs, we are not restricted to membership. We do represent all. Um, but given that we are a membership-based organization, we do tend to put a, a, a highlight, if you will, uh, on, on our current members and provide greater opportunities for exposure. So you'll see, for instance, in our dining guide, uh, our members are given you know, prominent listings with descriptions, whereas non-members will get just a basic address phone number. Those are the kinds of things that we do to highlight membership down here. Yeah, the way I always kind of coin it, Kelly, is you get additional perks. There, there's <laughs> little extra perks yeah. For, yeah. for being a member with tourism. And we also put out um, visitor discounts um, that we distribute in our vestibule and downstairs in the visitor center. Uh, most of what we do down here is at no charge to our tourism businesses. There are some opportunities for advertising that would obviously incur um, some costs, but something like this um, and inclusion in the dining guide, these, these, these are things that we don't charge for. Um, and we have a very large distribution program uh, with you know three different companies that distribute our brochures, so we're not just 
printing things and letting them sit. We're getting them out there. And uh, the distribution really helps us to expand our, our reach into further markets out. Uh, downstairs, we also attend consumer travel, uh, travel shows um, as well as trade travel shows. So meeting in person with one-on-one uh, -on -one appointments, kind of like what Stephen talked about, the speed networking. Uh, we will do that with like a tour operator. So we're out there uh, representing our, our you know, top tourism attractions to try to bring uh, tour groups here, um, convention meeting planners, um, and obviously travel media and PR as well. We work with the state, the state's PR agency, um, as well as have programs that promote our own PR and media so that we can get exposure for our tourism assets uh, and local, regional, and statewide travel. Um, we also, I'm sitting down here in the visitor center. If you've never come in, please feel free to come down anytime. I'm here 8.30 to 4.30 um, every day. Um, but our vestibule is open 24-7 um, to people to come and pick up uh, our key travel materials. And um, within the visitor center, uh, typically we'll have a volunteer base who help us greet the visitors. Um, but with COVID, it's, you know, we don't have them this year. But we carry primarily uh, travel materials from our tourism assets within our region, um, locally, our own attractions. So if you have a tourism related brochure, you can bring them here. We're happy to put them in a rack and distribute them for you. Um, and, you know, people come in every day down here, whether it's a local. Um, we get a lot of people, a lot of the locals that come are, you know, they come in looking for information for they're visiting family and friends. That's a, that's a really big market for us as well. Um, but it's a beautiful center and I encourage you to come down and visit if, if you haven't. Um, and then lastly, you know, just to note that not only do we uh, market to leisure travelers, but we are heavily involved with uh, the sports teams that come in the spring, as well as, you know, special interest groups like car clubs and uh, other conventions. So we have our own tourism website. It's Visit Genesee NY. And uh, if anybody would like more information, I'm happy to you know hop on the call or meet with anybody. Yeah. And I, I got to give Kelly huge props here because she probably has like two hours of information she could cover. <laughs> and she got it all into one slide. So um, it's a huge resource for anybody that, that hasn't used it. So make sure you check out um, our tourism department. Uh, this is you, Tom. Okay. Um, one of the things that the chamber has, we do have a small business loan fund. Uh, it, it's really, it's not as big as it used to be, but we, we have about uh, right now, I think around $70,000 that uh, we can loan. Uh, we, the maximum we loan is $20,000. It's, it's, it's really meant for small businesses that are either creating or retaining jobs in Genesee County. So it, we, it can be, you can apply for it if you're a new business. Uh, or if you're an existing business that is looking to expand, uh, I think the example we have here on the page there, if you look at that's the Red Osier's uh, uh, catering truck that the, and they, you know, the Red Osier's been around for a while, great members and uh, do a great job with their restaurant, but they wanted to get into catering and put together a nice truck. So uh, we were able to loan them the money uh, to help uh, make that uh, realistic. So uh, it can be, it's got to be used. It can't be used just for overhead. It's got to be used for financing, capital equipment, uh, inventory, uh, but it, you know, anything is expansion. And, and it's, uh, it really, uh, again, you have a committee that you, you have to put, uh, have come with a business plan. And if you, uh, it, you go to the, it, submit the business plan, you go, goes to the committee and we decide. We really, you know, we we encourage people to go to our banks first, especially with the the, the risk, the loan rates as low as they are right now. Uh, so uh, they could go there, but uh, we we kind of go for the ones that maybe aren't able to get it through a bank. Uh, some businesses or new businesses or uh, businesses that uh, uh, exist already and uh, may not be able to get the the loan for what they want. And we'll look at that and take we take a little bit more of a risk than the banks might. Uh, there are three to five year loans, again, 20,000 uh, 20, maximum. They're usually about prime plus one. So, and that's pretty low right now. But the, the big advantage of our loans is that uh, we could, we can 
have a 25% grant. So uh, for example, if you were to take a $10,000 loan, uh, we, we could have it $7,500 at uh, prime plus one is a loan uh, that has to be paid in three to five years or uh, and the, the other 25% is actually an actual grant of $2,500 that you don't have to pay back as long as you stay in your business for three years. Uh, if, you, if you close after one year, you'd have to pay, uh, I think, 66% uh, of the, the loan back. If you close after two years, you have to pay 33%. But after three years, it's a, it's a full-fledged uh, a grant. So uh, we haven't had a lot of activity with that lately uh, because of, uh, I think because of uh, COVID and, and uh, there hasn't been a lot of new businesses being open, but uh, it, it is out there and available uh, for people that are interested. Um, we do have uh, flyers on that. There's also information on our uh, chamber website. There's an application and all the information you need to know to, to uh, apply for a loan. It, it, again, it's not meant for like COVID relief or anything. It's for expansion of business. Uh, it, so, because there is only a limited number of dollars. If you can do the math, if we have a $20,000 max and we have $70,000, it doesn't take long for that, that to be uh, used up. So that's uh, um, something that, uh, that we, we offer. And again, I said that we have to have a, a business plan it has to be uh, uh, in order to uh, even be considered. So you'd have to do a the business plan, which takes us to our next slide. We do have uh, work with a number of uh, other uh, organizations for small business counseling. Uh, we work, uh, a lot of our uh, web workshops are done through the uh, Small Business Administration, who has been really crucial for this whole uh, uh, pandemic PPP programming and idle programming. Uh, we work with a small business development corporation. They have a office in uh, at Rockport State, but they also have an office hours up at the MedTech building across from GCC. Uh, they, if you need a business plan, you say, "Well, I don't know how to do a business plan, or I don't, I, I you know, I don't know how I'm going to put it together correctly." They will do one. They would. They are there. Their primary purpose is to counsel small businesses. And whether it's a new business or an existing business that wants to expand or any, any type of, of business counseling you need, uh, they will perform those duties. And the best thing is it's free of charge. It does not cost you a dime to talk to the people there. And we have all the, uh, the uh, resources. We can uh, put you in touch with the right people there. Uh, it, and they, they can help you with a business plan or anything else you need, any questions you might have, things you wanna bounce off people. Uh, there are good people to do that with. Uh, SCORE is similar. SCORE is, is retired executives. I'm not sure what the entire ac uh, acronym is, but I know it's retired executives and they're usually sharp people. And again, they're there to help you. They're, they help you do a business plan. Uh, they will help you with a, a lot of things uh, in your business, uh, any questions you might have. And, and again, they're free of charge. We also use them as a source for some of our business workshops because they have some great programs to put on for business workshops. So uh, and then the other uh, partner is the Genesee County Economic Development Center. We've already talked about them a little bit. Uh, we're good friends with them, uh, they, but they have some, and that's usually made, maybe some of their loan programs are for larger developments, uh, expansions uh, of bu businesses, but uh, uh, they're, they're a source of uh, uh, resources as well. So that's where our small business counseling. So again, uh, those are our partners and you know we can help as well, but our, our big, I think, job there is to be the traffic cop and get you to the right person that can help with your business. And, and it, again, these are free, free, uh, and they're not just free for uh, chamber members, they're free for anybody that's thinking of starting a business or expanding their business. All right. Uh, another thing we, we do with the chamber is public policy and advocacy, I think. You know, in these days, we're always there. Again, our job is to help businesses any way we can. And if that means uh, uh, in Albany or in the, in the federal government, uh, Chambers of Commerce, that's what we're there. We're, we, you know, there's strength in numbers as usual. And our 500 members with all the other Chambers of Commerce can, can maybe have some political clout on, on business laws. Uh, we use the, the Business Council of New York State in the middle there, they, they are, uh, there is no really New York State Chamber of Commerce, but the Business Council kind of serves as that, and we work with them. We, we do not actually do any lobbying ourselves. We can't, and 
Uh, we're not big enough, but we put our strength of our membership behind their efforts and they are in Albany and trying to keep, make sure that uh, businesses are looked out for when it comes to uh, laws that are being made and policies that are being made. And then again, the US Chamber of Commerce does that on a national level. Uh, you can't really read it very well, but more of what we do at a local level here is support businesses, support uh, grant applications. This one I have happen to listed there is a, uh, there's one for a Main Street grant. There, there's a lot of grants that are available and, and things like that, that, uh, that needs the support of uh, local businesses to uh, be granted. A lot of the things that are going on downtown with uh, uh, DRI and things like that, uh, people can get grant money, but they need the support of their local business community. And uh, our, our letters carry a lot of weight when it comes to that, because we are the Genesee County Chamber and we were representing over 500 businesses. So uh, if, if there's something you need uh, in that that vein, we can we can help with that as well. So again, our, our whole job is to support businesses and help businesses any way we can. And so we advocate any way we can. And uh, finally, I think is we, we do do a lot of ribbon cuttings. We haven't in the last year. It's one of our specialties. I think when people think of chambers of commerce, they think of ribbon cuttings and you know cutting a ribbon, whether it's an opening of a new business or a, an expansion of a business or changing of a, the, the type of business you're doing. We're willing to come back out if you, you your business has changed and uh, expanded. We, we love oh, doing ribbon cutting. Tom, Tom, how about new ownership uh, spot, Artemis? New ownership, yeah, perfect. Yeah, I don't think you're not eligible because it, it was an existing business. Yeah, I yeah, love- I've been thinking about it, but um, with COVID and everything, we just kind of- it, it. You are in the same boat as everybody yeah. else. We've had five or six people say that to us this year. And it's, yes. you know- there's no problem doing it six months from now. You know, yeah. it's, it's, yeah, grand openings can be anytime you want to have the grand opening. And we have done a couple during the COVID where we, we've we socially distanced with masks and everything. But uh, if people want to put them off, it's up to them. You Yeah, you don't have to do it the day you open your business or uh, you can always have a grand opening or grand reopening. I think there's going to be a lot of grand reopenings once we get through this COVID crisis. People are going to want to remarket this business. And that's, let's face it, that's what this is. The, the ribbon cutting is for. It's a way to market and promote your business. And we get good play out of it. And it's a feel-good event. And we love doing it. And uh, we love bringing out the big scissors and, and having an event for anybody. So keep that in mind, you know, no matter what stage you are in your business. So. Um, you want me to talk to this? I was going to say, this is just a mixture of all of yeah. us here. A lot of little things that people don't realize we do. We do have a notary service. We have people on staff that can do notaries. I know that you can get those in banks and everything else, but we're willing to do that for our members. Uh, certificates of origin, uh, that's a kind of specialized thing, but uh, people like chain, uh, uh, Graham Manufacturing, they use us a lot for that. They send a lot of uh, materials overseas to uh, places like Saudi Arabia, um, China, India, and sometimes they require uh, a certificate of origin that that it was actually made in the United States and made in uh, our, our county. And we have a, a nice little seal in a, uh, that we put on it and say, said that uh, authenticate that it that did actually was produced in our county. So uh, that's a nice, we don't charge any money for that. I, I know that other chambers I've heard charge like $25 a, a certificate and we don't do that for our members. It's, it's, a, it's a, a free uh, service. And you'd have to be doing some exporting to do that. But if you're doing exporting, that would maybe of interest to you. Uh, our conference room. We do have a conference room. Stephen's in it right now. Uh, yeah, I can show a view of it here. We can sit about 25 to 30 people, depending how we set it up. We can set it up in a lot of different ways. It's free uh, to any of our members to use. We've had uh, members, I know a couple of our members, uh, WBTA uses it for, well, when, when it wasn't COVID, let's, let's take COVID out of the equation here. When it wasn't COVID, uh, they would have their sales uh, uh, meetings there. Uh, Applebee's uses it for uh, occasionally for meetings there. We had uh, Planet Fitness when they came into town. Uh, they did all of their interviewing for their hires and spent probably half the summer with us one year uh, in, the, in the conference room. Uh, and that was a, it's a free, uh, because they're your members, you can use that. All you have to do is we ask that you schedule in advance. And, uh, and again, right now, very strict uh, COVID protocol if you were to use it. 
Uh, but, and, you know, hopefully that'll change as the time goes on, but something to keep in mind, you know, a lot of times people don't want to interview in their own office. They don't have the space or they want the privacy it's available and that, that for, for our membership. So, uh, chamber me member lists and labels. We, we, you know, we do have lists. That we can, we can print out of all our members. If you're going to use it for, uh, for mailings and things like that, that can be done here. And it's, it's funny how that, it's, that isn't used as much as it used to be because you can almost do it yourself from, from downloading from our, our website, but uh, we, we're willing to do that as, as well. Uh, Easy Pass, uh, we're, we're a distributor of Easy Pass and you know, that's become a big thing around here uh, with the changing of the, uh, the throughway and how the, uh, the tolling is there. We sell Easy Pass here for the same price that you would get them any place else, or, I think they're $25. Um, and it's just a service that we do it kind of is a, is a tourism location. People that want to say, hey, I, I want to get an easy pass because it's a lot easier to, to, to navigate uh, on, the, on the highways. Uh, so those are available here. Uh, social media consult consultation, uh, that Stephen does most of that. Uh, we, we're willing to help you if you, you don't uh, uh, know, you, you know, you have problems with Facebook, you want to start a Facebook campaign, you want to do, Stephen, maybe you should talk to that. <laughs> well, I was just going to say, Lynn, Lynn, this is what you were talking about earlier. Um, this is something that just kind of got developed over time because businesses saw what we were doing and they were like, well, can you help me with that? So it kind of just became a membership benefit. Um, but I have no problem sitting down with anybody if we need to do it on Zoom or, or whatever we need to do and just going through what you want to do. Um, I'm, I'm no expert, but I do make my way around it pretty well. Um, and we do advertising campaigns for the chamber and for, I've helped other businesses with it. So um, I do have some knowledge of it, but I'd be glad to sit down and, and help anybody that I can. I have met with, you know, maybe four or five different members that I've, I've helped this with. Um, and that kind of leads me right into my second thing. Uh, we do video work. Uh, we've, we've shot a lot of videos over the past couple of years. So if you need help in that realm too, that's something I can help with. Um, I've done commissioned videos where I, they hire me to do it. And I've also just, you know, we shoot videos of our ribbon cuttings and our events and things like that. So um, that's something we can help with. Uh, and then the last little thing here is the chamber is a resource. Um, you know, we might not be the first organization you think of, but just try to try to remember we're here. Um, you know, we we interact with members as much as we possibly can, but ultimately there's got to be a little little bit of give and take between the two of us. So don't be shy about reaching out to us, uh, calling, emailing, uh, stopping in. Um, we have a lot of different things, as you can see through this presentation. Um, so don't be afraid to, to, don't feel like you're bothering us. Um, this is what we're here to do. So be sure to reach out and use the chamber as a resource. Um, and then the final slide is, is just contact information. Um, you know, we'll, anybody that, that needs this, we can send this out to you. Um, this is all available on our website, uh, but I don't know if, if anybody else wants to say anything on this slide. Well, it's in, in our membership directory uh, also that, that you, everyone that is a member should have that a copy of that membership directory. If you don't, you can come in and pick one up here or we'll get, get it to you. So yeah, we're available. I think this is a good way to wrap it up. I hope we haven't overwhelmed all of you with everything because there is so much that we do and it is so varied, but uh, we are here to help you in your business and just just think of us and, and we'll try to help in any way we can. So there, I, hope, I hope it's helped to... Uh, uh, it kind of broaden your thoughts of what the chamber is and what we do. Yeah. And anybody that might not be a member on the call, um, there is a membership application on our website and there's more membership info. Um, also, I am available. Uh, email me, call me. We can, we can Zoom call, whatever you want to do. Um, yeah. And so just thank you guys for attending. We appreciate all of this. And I hope, uh, like Tom said, we didn't give you too much info for <laughs> for the hour and a half that Does we anybody, had. Anybody have questions before? Yeah, good, good point. You oh, just no. unmute. No, Wait. not right now. I just wanted to say thank you and I'll probably be in touch with a couple of you soon. Great, great, awesome. that's what we like. And we're gonna keep this, uh, we'll put this up on our website or our YouTube Yeah, I'll put, it on our, I'll put it on our YouTube and then um, I will put a link to the YouTube video on our website. All right, great, okay. Any other questions? 
thank you all for attending. And, uh, and again, reach out to us anytime uh, that you, you need us. That's what we're here for. Thank you very take, much. Take care. Bye.